Hello, my name is Ilya. This lesson is for week 3 of Introduction to Music Production at Coursera.org. I'll be teaching you how to create a submix in a DAW. I'm using Reaper. A submix is a grouping of instruments or tracks that are mixed or inserted into the main mix as a composite signal. It's a mix within a mix. Submixes allow you to control groups of instruments without um, having to make identical changes across multiple tracks in the mix. For example, you can carefully set the levels within a submix the way you want and then have a single fader to control the overall volume or stereo pan of the whole cluster of tracks. Also submixes become handy when you are using multiple effects. Digital signal processing takes a lot of CPU resources and with a submix you can apply a single effect to a group of tracks in your DAW. The most common examples are vocals or drums that are often recorded with multiple mics, but actually you can make a submix of any group of tracks or instruments. Here I have some keyboard and a rhythm guitar and a set of four drum tracks, a kick drum, a hi-hat, a snare and a crash. I'm going to show you how to create a submix and I'll use the drum section as an example. There are two ways to set up submixes in Reaper. In most DAWs, to create a submix you need to create a bus add sends from each track that is to be included in the submix and then disable the direct sends to the master from each of these tracks. You can use this method in Reaper. So, I'm going to create a new track which will be the bus. I'll call it simply drum submix. Now I need to set up sends from all four drum tracks into my bus. You can do that in the in-out menu of each track. And finally, I need to disable the output to the master track. I'll do that by holding Alt key and clicking on the I.O. button on each track. If the output to the master is disabled, the word master here is dimmed. That's it, a submix track is created. Now I can control all my drum section volume with a single fader. I can also add effects like a compressor or reverb to all drums at once or mute the section completely. However, there is another way to create submixes and it distinguishes Reaper from many other DAWs. In its core there is the concept of folders or folder tracks. A folder track is created initially the same way as any other track. After that you just need to tell Reaper to treat it as a folder track and that's it. Direct output to the master from the individual child tracks within the folder is automatically disabled. Instead they are passed through the folder. So I just need to create a new track. I'll drag it right above the drum tracks. To turn this track into a folder, I'll press the tiny folder icon in the bottom right corner, which turns uh, into a plus when I hover my mouse over it. After I press it, all the tracks below this track automatically become included into the folder as children. That's it. We now have a drum submix. You can see um, these faint peaks in the folders lane, which represent the combined contents of the folders child tracks. Note that if I add a new track below these tracks, it will also be added as a child track to the drum folder. If I don't want it to be in the folder and want the folder to end, I just need to turn my last drum track into the last track in the folder. To do that, I'll toggle the folder button. One click does the same, it turns the current track into a folder and makes the next track its child. This way you can create nested folders and there is no limit on how many of those you can have. But of course, the more folders you have, the more complex the structure of your project is. If I click again on this icon, it will mark the current track as the last track in the folder. My next track is not in the drum folder, 
and the output will go directly to the main mix. One thing to keep in mind, you should not manually disable the ma master parent send for child tracks within a folder, otherwise their output will no longer go to the folder and therefore to the master track. So you can see that creating submixes using folders in Reaper is a simple and uh, somewhat intuitive process. You can also group your parallel effects tracks into folders. This way, for example, you can control all reverbs for different instruments at once. I think the recording of this lesson went well. I want to mention that Reaper's user's manual is pretty helpful and easy to read. I used the Camp Studio application to record the stream. Thank you for watching and hope to hear your feedback.